Walter Payton was his favorite football player of all time. Belinda Clear finds comfort in this space full of sports memorabilia, not just from Chicago, but some from Philly, too. He had season tickets to the Sixers when Manu Bowl played, so you know they weren't good. <laughs> so. The he she's referring to is her late husband, Keith. This was my first time going to Chicago to meet his family. Laughing is how she's gotten through the last six plus years. Keith died from a massive heart attack while traveling to his mother's funeral. He was feeling discomfort and he wasn't himself, but I, I thought it was because he had lost his mom. And like he's from a small family and they were very close knit. And so I thought that's what it was, but yeah. He died in the, in the same room his mother died in four days earlier. An emotional roller coaster for sure. One that she almost got off for good. Today, Belinda's healing rests and reminiscing on how Keith enjoyed watching his wife do comedy with various stars she's met along the way. The only difference between a black Canadian and a black American is that we were way more athletic and faster. That's me. You're Canadian, right? Canadian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These days, the 57-year-old mother and native of Nova Scotia, Canada, is headlining throughout our region most recently at the House of Laughs in Wilmington. You're looking at me and you're like, damn, she looks just like Beyonce. <laughs> I knew I had to do comedy because that's how I cope. I mean, and there's still days now where I, I, I think of the fact that, you know, I can give God a list of people he could take, you know, <laughs> people that aren't really, you know. <laughs> I mean, if you look into takes of it, like he was just, He's so good, he should still be here. In Delaware, where she stand up royalty, we feed off of that. Up and coming comedians like Julianne Markowitz look up to her for more than jokes. She doesn't blow smoke. She's only supportive of people she genuinely believes in. But if she believes in you, she is just your cheerleader. And I just think it's so incredible and inspiring for somebody who has been through so much to so passionately champion other people. And so my friends got together and I mean, gave me this trophy, most overlooked player, athlete, and student. In Belinda's world, seeing a smile on another person's face can bring everlasting joy because in her words, it's a thin line between comedy and sports. Comedy's a lot like, like some nights you knock it out the park, some nights you just get a base hit. See, look at that, known I played sports. And comedy too. That's why around here, she's an all-star. In Wilmington, Delaware, Ronnie Duncan, Fox 29 News.